Hello YouTubers, this is Fedor. I want to make another video about this uh, ultrasonic sensor HCSR04. Um, it has four pins, the VCC, the positive, and then trigger pin with the signal out, echo pin, that's the signal in, and then ground. And uh, here it is, wired up to a Arduino Nano. Uh, you have the the ground wire. You have the let's see. This one's the echo pin, pin three, and then the trigger pin, pin two. And uh, the way these work, so it's it's through the trigger wire. It sends the signal in, and as long as the trigger is pressed, this ultrasonic sensor sends out a a sound, and like it's ultrasonic, so you can't hear. It's like super super high frequency it sends it out and then whenever it's received the echo pin goes high let's see oh sorry echo pin this yellow wire echo pin goes high and then Arduino has this um, little function thing um, little line of code it's called a pulse in and you can measure the time between the signal out and a signal in to see how far away the object is and um, so here's the code for it let's see let me get a little bit closer okay there it is let it clear up a little bit so we have the define the two pins so the trigger pin is two echo pin is three then uh, these uh, variables here, you'd, I put them under the double because double allows you to have decimal points and stuff. And it uses up more uh, memory on your chip, but that's the sacrifice I'm willing to take for it to be more accurate. So two variables of time and distance. And then the void setup, you'd serial begin. I'll use that to display the values on the serial port on the serial monitor over here and then the pin mode so that the trigger pin is the output so that's a signal going out echo pin is the input from the from the sensor that way you can measure the distance how far the how far away the object is and here's the main code let it let this clear up a little bit there it goes so digital right trigger pin high that sends out a signal now we delay for 5 microseconds, so that signal is continuous for 5 microseconds. Then we stop the signal with the trigger pin being low. That stops the signal. Then it's time the pulse in um, code. So you'd put the, the pin and then high, so it measures the time from the, from the pulse to go from uh, low to high. And it stores it in its time variable. And then I have this formula here to uh, determine the distance something is away from the ultrasonic sensor by taking time divided by two. So you, so the the signal goes there and back. So you divide the signal by two just to get there, and you divide it by this constant. It changes with the air temperature, and it, and this is the calculating distance in centimeters. I forgot to put centimeters on here, and then we delay for 500 milliseconds. And then we print out the distance variable onto the serial monitor. And um, after I, let's see, upload this code, it's uploading at the bottom. Takes a second. There it goes, uploading. Okay, and we're done. And now let me run the serial monitor over here and then it shows the distance and it's super super accurate because it goes down to two decimal places and as I move this farther away we're here let me put it right here okay I have a monitor hooked up let me put my thing down okay a little bit better maybe you can see at the bottom seven 
as I bring closer it's 3, 2, bring far away, back to 7 centimeters, 4, 3, 4, and it's really, really accurate as I move farther away, number gets larger. Now we're 10.12 centimeters away, give or take. And uh, you can use, you can save some RAM and some uh, processing speed by changing this double to long. You can use long instead, but you won't have any decimal places on your data. So it won't be as accurate, but it's whatever, your choice up to you. Yeah, it's super easy to use. There's no libraries, no nothing. I'll, I'll post this code under the description that you can have it. And if you have any questions, concerns, uh, message me and I'll answer them.